All right, it's time now for report cards. We begin with the offense. Ray, what are you giving the offense? You know what? I, I know everybody out there is probably thinking what I'm going to say, but <clears throat> Bilal Powell, to me, raised this grade from an F to a D minus. I thought this kid is, you know, when we talk about effort, this kid is showing it week in and week out. So just because of Bilal, Fowl, P Bilal Powell, excuse me, I put it at a D minus. Mike? Mike? I did almost the same thing. I gave him a D plus based on what I saw of Bilal and what I and, and some positive things that I saw with Bryce. I, 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 now again, you know, we're talking about a D and a D plus, but nonetheless, <laughs> I, mean, I know. But still, you know, I'm looking for some positives, and and that's why I, I, I felt there were some good things there. Chad, I, uh, I gave him a D. Uh, I thought the offensive line really struggled tonight. They've got some interchanging parts. I get it. It's, that's still no excuse. This is the NFL. A lot of drop balls. A lot of a lot of hit. A lot of guys getting hit in the hands. What's going on? There's like five or six of these. And I, although I thought Bryce looked good, he was you know he's a three game rookie, if you will. So at the end of the day, this is a D for me. All right, let's get to the defense, Chad. What grade do you give the defense? Same thing, D. Mm -hmm. Although the D line I thought did a decent job of stopping the run. The, the passing game was just abysmal. And when you let a guy like Moore throw for four touchdowns, that's insane, especially when you do have talent back there. It's not like you don't know what you're doing, but sometimes they don't play their technique. And so you see these big busts in the, in the backfield. So th this is a D for me. Mike? I give him a D also. Uh, I, I loved some of the hitting early. I, th I was really impressed. Leonard Williams jumps off the page at me. He just jumps off. Probably. I watch him. I, yeah. Every time I turn Probably. around, he just looks like an all-star. Put him and, at and I agree. But the mental errors, the broken coverages, and w where they have those, that's really discouraging. Right? F. I mean, more through four touchdown passes. Yeah, F. It's, F. I, I get it. I, don't, I mean, there's nothing else to say. F. Yeah. All right, let's go on to the special teams. Mike, uh, by the way, your picture hit the Twitterverse yeah. uh, after that punt. I got him at 2.7, so uh, right. I don't know if, if anybody can, you know, watching. I, I think I can get him down to 2.5 right now. I, I'm not sure yet. Mike, what grade do you give the special I, team? I, I, yeah, I, I failed them. Uh, if you get a block punt for a touchdown, especially, it wasn't an intricate look. I mean, I've had punts blocked against me. Uh, not, not, a, not a lot, but I've had. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, he, what, he just comes right off the edge. He runs right by him. Uh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, that, that's Looking really hard. discouraging. Yeah. Because that's an easy block. You have number one. There he is. Slide out, block him. And that was really a frustrating. Also, um, uh, the, the fact that, you know, I, I thought after they went for it, that were they, were they, they kicked the field goal. I thought they'd onside kick. And if they had all the guys up on the line, well, they kicked it deep. Don't kick the ball in the end zone. And they were just as dumb to run it out. So I thought that was a strategical error. They really misplayed that. That's a shame. So I, I failed them. Yeah, I gave them a failing grade, too. And I'll add on to that, too. The, when they squib kicked it toward the end of the, uh, the second quarter, went through about 40 seconds oh, left, gosh. and they returned it almost all the way up to the 40-yard line. I was wondering, what are they doing? That's a chance for them to go down. That's just another mental error. or just uh, I don't understand why they do some of these things. So for me, along with that, along the block punt, it's an F. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> well, F. I had a feeling you might say that. All right, let's move on to coaching. Uh, Mike, what are you giving the coach? I give them a D. There were some good, solid things. I like the way they came out early. I like the aggressiveness. Todd took a lot of the blame on himself. I think I agree. He fell on the sword. A lot of it's got to go to the players. But the players didn't make the decision to call the timeout after, after a challenge. After a challenge. Right. They didn't make the decision to, to kick the ball with a squib right before half. They didn't make the decision to not go for the touchdown, to kick the field goal, and then come back and not onside kick, or yeah. not only then, to not kick the ball in the end zone. So, and also challenge on a time where you know where you're ever going to get that one. So those things do go on the coach. Ray? I give him an F. I, I mean, fourth and one, I love the call you're going for it. Then you get you call timeout after the challenge, but then you get in the shotgun? Oh, I, so instead of fourth and I one, agree. it's fourth and six. And then everything that Mike said is the same thing. I feel the same way, F. Chad? You know what? I, I gave him a D. Um, this comes down to sometimes it does come down to talent sometimes it's effort and then sometimes it comes down to coaching and I just feel like there's always this miscommunication issue that seems to come up week in and week out well if that's the case then perhaps you're not covering it 
enough in practice or maybe you're not explaining it properly because this can't be that hard to have this many communication issues and it's not just the DBs it's not just the old linemen it's not just you know other areas of the team it always seems to be this communication you hear this every single week from these players who we interview so in my mind it's a D effort on the coaching